What's up everyone? In today's video, I wanna talk a little bit about something that's pretty vital and important to a supercharged vehicle, and in particular, the Ram 1500 that we have the Pro Charger kit on. So some of you guys might have been following along pretty closely with the whole build, how it's all been going, um, as far as what we're making with Boost. I'll have you know that, you know, if it's not known already, the Pro Charger kit that's made the stock standard Pro, or Pro Charger kit for the Ram 1500, the 5.7 liter Hemi, it does slip quite a bit. So a lot of guys are battling with slipping. And to combat that, they're either over tightening the belt past what the Pro Charger manual says as far as their recommended tension, or if they actually call Pro Charger, they're verbally telling them to tighten it past what they actually tell you to in order to try to achieve the boost uh, level settings that they're claiming that the kit has, which is around seven or eight pounds. So. Um, in a previous video, which I'll link above right here, we put a carbonite coating, which is almost like a grit type of coating on the actual uh, Pro Charger pulley. So the one that actually is on the actual supercharger itself, that one has a grip pulley to stop it from slipping because that was one of the biggest things. So it ended up working. You guys probably saw in the other videos, and again, I'll, I'll post it above here. So I had a couple of videos, I had one showing the pulley being moved, one with the coating as we installed it, and then another one where we tested it and verified that we were getting the full boost now. So uh, check out those videos if you guys haven't seen them, but anyways, we installed uh, that carbonate pulley, our uh, coated or treated pulley, and it does have a grit surface, so it's only, it's only fair to assume that it's gonna wear out a little bit sooner. But and again, with having the supercharger and having the extra tension on the, you know, the serpentine belt and on all the different pulleys, the belt is gonna wear out sooner. So we're about 3,000 miles um, on the belt. The belt wasn't brand new. The previous owner had a few different belts he was trying, so I'm guessing this belt probably has three to 500 miles on it, plus the additional uh, three or 3,000 miles that I put on it. So let's, just to be fair, let's say about 3,500 miles on this current belt. And um, that's with uh, a track day as well. So track day, we were working it pretty hard. Um, and it seems like the belt is kind of, in my opinion, is almost almost at its uh, life expectancy. It, squeal it squeals quite a bit just when it starts. I guess it's not completely shot, but it is kind of annoying. When you start the truck, you get kind of this squeaky belt sound until the truck warms up and then it goes away. So. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the squeaky belt. I'm gonna show you guys the dust. I was gonna clean the engine bay with the truck the, uh, the other day, or actually today, but I wanted to leave it to show you guys just how much dust, uh, belt dust is built up. So let me go ahead, start it so you guys can hear it, and then we'll show you the debris and what the belt looks like. kill it I'm gonna pop the hood and I'll show you the belt dust that we're talking about all right so let's get into it Ta -da. all right so here is the carbonite pulley hopefully like I said I washed it earlier today so hopefully we're not gonna get dripped on here but here's the carbonite pulley I don't know how well you guys are gonna see the actual coating but if you look just on the very edge right there, you can probably see the grit surface. But look at how shredded the belt is. And I don't necessarily, I, I can't really blame the uh, carbonate pulley for this. Because this is on the back side and the back side has nothing to do with the carbonate pulley. But check out all this, I don't know, muck or black stuff that's kind of just on the back side of the belt. It's almost like the back side of the belt is wearing. And I don't know if the previous owner was trying to put some sort of belt dressing or glue or something, but check out this crap that's kind of stuck on the pulley here where it rides on the belt back side. So I don't know, there's something kind of going on here. Again, we got this kind of, if I can get my camera to play along with us here. So hopefully you guys can see that junk that's just sitting there. Let's see, come on camera. Like look at all this junk that's on the backside here. And it's just like 
built up belt dust. So I'm led to believe that maybe it's because of the belt dust flying off that it's, I don't know, essentially melted rubber and it's landing on the back side of the belt, but this is kind of what we're dealing with. If you look here, like look at all this belt dust. So it's built up quite a bit. And if you look at the alternator, which this is pretty significant, there's quite a bit of dust settling in the bottom here too. And hopefully you guys can see, there's quite a bit of dust just everywhere. Like, check out, I don't know if you guys can make this out too well. Look at all of that belt dust down here. This was clean not too long ago. Like, look at that. Quite a bit of belt dust. So, um, in my opinion, the belt isn't completely spent. Like, hopefully if my camera wants to play along with us today, you can see it, but the belt's not completely cooked or anything like that. But uh, maybe, I wanna say probably another thousand miles out of it before I would comfortably, you know, wanna change it. I mean, you could still, it doesn't seem like it's gonna snap or anything weird like that, but just the squealing is kinda of getting to me. So I don't know if it's a case of cleaning, having to clean everything and why this is caked on here like such. Like I said, it's like, kind of like this gluey sticky stuff and maybe that's part of the reason but I mean there's a lot of different pulleys like this one this one's plastic and it doesn't have any stuff built up and it's riding on the back side of the belt but this steel one has all sorts of junk on the back side what about this other steel one this steel one is clean nothing on the back side of that one mm, that's pretty much it there's one at the very bottom which I can't get to as you guys can probably see right there that one is steel, which is pro-charge supplied, and it's identical to the one over here. So maybe those two have a bunch of junk on the back side, or I don't know, similar to this, where you can scratch it off with your nail on the steel pulley. Maybe it has a bunch of junk on it. That's where we're getting our squealing from, but I'm not sure. I'm just here to report what's going on and the experience of owning this kit. So, so far, uh, I haven't had any issues. It hasn't left me stranded knock on something but it hasn't left me stranded or anything of that nature it's been running smoothly it's never stalled it's never done anything strange never bucked never kicked never no loss of power definitely um yeah it hasn't done any unexpected stuff uh, except his work so i will fully document the whole process with you guys and anything we run into but i did want to mention this belt deterioration thing which i guess in the grand scheme of things it's not really that bad if you have to change the serpentine belt once every i would assume if you had a brand new belt and you weren't going to track it but just kind of have fun with it i would guess you would get a good solid 5,000 miles out of a belt. I'm just gonna throw that out there because this one seems like it's got about 3,500 miles on it. It's not yet toast, it's making a bit of noise, but I don't know how many exact miles I had on it prior. And I don't know, it's still holding up, doesn't look too deteriorated. It's just this kind of junk that's starting to get built up on the back, which I think is where the squealing is coming from. But that is pretty much it for the kit so far. All right, so let me know if you guys have any questions regarding the setup or anything that I've said or anything that I may have missed. Um, as you guys know, it's been working, like I said, and I'm going to be going to the track soon. We're gonna be getting those drag radials for the 17 inch in the rear. I still haven't uh, swapped them out. I do still have the 24 inch wheels over here, but um, I've just been kind of enjoying the sleeper mode in things. And um, yeah, I've just been liking the 17s. You get better gas mileage. It looks super sleeper. It doesn't look as good. It looks pretty work truckish, even though it's a sport model, but Hey, that's uh, that's okay for now. It's kind of fun just you know cruising around low key, but yeah. So that belt, I would say, is pretty much done. Um, like I said, you can still run it, but the squealing is getting to me, so I might swap it out or I might try cleaning those surfaces, and I'll report to you guys how that turns out. But maybe I'll try cleaning some stuff and see if that gets wheels to squeal. And it might just be those two steel pulleys that have caked stuff on the backside that might be the the cause. But anyways, I'll let you guys know. If you guys like this video, make sure you give a thumbs up for me. I would appreciate it, and it helps to keep you motivated to keep making these videos for you guys. Also, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. We do a lot of stuff, modifications, have the full build on this truck, and we're gonna continue to modify stuff, show you how to maintain stuff, all that stuff. And um, we'll be starting a new project here shortly, which I'm gonna be getting your eyes 
absolute input. We'll do a poll here shortly on what you guys want to see, whether it's putting this truck back to stock once we set some track times or we take this thing into something ridiculous. So, but anyways, another video. Thanks for watching guys. See you on the next one.